Good evening and welcome to all our guests attending this very first virtual gala, Imagine a Gift of Love. Thank you so much for joining us here online tonight. I am Maureen Swingle and this is Mary Price. Hello. We are the co-chairs for this year's event and we will be your host tonight. This is very different from what we usually do for our annual fundraiser. Yet we think that you can help us overcome the downside of not being able to gather as a large group tonight in the same room and be successful in helping us raise funds which will in turn pay for the goods and services Assistance League of St. Louis provides for deserving children and adults in our St. Louis community. The children and their families need you. Our donor support is what enables Assistance League to achieve what we do in this community. You make a big difference. So get comfy and enjoy the next hour. Sometimes, Mary, life gives us sour lemons, but we're going to take those lemons, add some sugar, and make the best lemonade ever. This is the 33rd year of existence for Assistance League in St. Louis. Our 471 volunteer members are engaged in hands-on delivery of all services. Each year we grow and this year we celebrate serving 34,100 children and adults. Your investment is well-placed and for that, we are so grateful. You know, Martin Luther King once said, you only need a heart full of grace and a soul generated by love. All of you are evidence that this is so true. Our goal tonight for Imagine a Gift of Love is $250,000. Please, won't you help us to reach this goal? You will be able to participate in our live auction, our silent auction, our ring the bell, our wine pool, and our buy it now, all through GiveSmart. If you have not yet signed up for GiveSmart, go to the link that is scrolling across the bottom of your screen right now. Please do it now. Use your cell phone or your iPad to register so that you can receive texts from GiveSmart. The link is imagine20.givespart.com. You know, Maureen, there are so many items in the silent auction with themes that are ranging from sports memorabilia to a trip to Las Vegas, barbecuing, and our own bourbon connoisseur collection. There is a minimum bid listed to start the bidding for each basket. Our silent auction started one week ago to allow our guests to preview and to begin bidding. Please register online with GiveSmart so that you too can participate. Bidding stops at 8 o'clock p.m. tonight and the highest bidder at that time will be notified by way of GiveSmart on your cell phone that you have won that basket. All winners can pick up their items tomorrow, Sunday, from 11 o'clock to 3 o'clock here at our headquarters. For those of you who cannot pick up your item, please get in touch with us and we will make other arrangements. Our live auction has 10 big ticket packages listed for bidding. We usually have a live auctioneer who engages our attendees and encourages bidding, but Due to COVID-19, this year our live auction will be a little different. You, our guests, will bid on these very special packages just as you do for the silent auction. But the difference is the live auction just now started at 7 o'clock p.m. and it will close at 8 o'clock p.m. We are pretty enthused about offering these big ticket items Thank you to Debbie Ream and Amy Hinderer for serving as the chairs for our live auction this year. Let me talk just a little bit about some of the packages. Ooh, can't wait to hear. Dine Around Town. 
What is your dining pleasure tonight? Mm. Are you feeling Greek? Perhaps you would like to go to Paris. Ooh. You need not step onto that jet. Stay in St. Louis. <laughs> you will have five nights out on our town enjoying first class dining. Mm. This package includes $200 gift cards to Napoli or Napoli 2, to Brassieri by Niche, oh. John Minio's, mm. Annie Guns, and Spiro's. Ooh, I like them all. Sipping in style, special occasion, mm. 10 special occasions. This is a win wine item. You will own 10 bottles of wine, each valued at $100 each. This is a special occasion in itself. I agree. Big Cedar Lodge. Discover a remote haven of natural beauty and rustic luxury tucked into the beautiful Missouri Ozark Mountains overlooking Table Rock Lake. Use this $1,500 gift certificate for anything at Big Cedar Lodge. It could be used for luxury accommodations, spectacular restaurants, marinas, five golf courses, world-class spa, and their shooting range. Enjoy this perfect getaway to enjoy tranquility, outdoor adventure, genuine Ozark hospitality, and a little piece of heaven on oh, earth. Sounds good. Ryan O'Reilly, St. Louis Blues jersey. Go oh. Blues! Display your signed jersey by fan favorite Ryan O'Reilly, current alternate captain, playoff MVP, member of the 2019 Stanley Cup champions, mm -hmm. and a great representative of the Stanley Cup champions in the 2019 All-Star Game. Go Blues! Go Ryan O'Reilly! Celebrate St. Louis. Why leave our city when there's so much to offer here in the Gateway to the West? This package includes 2021 Missouri Botanical Garden mm -hmm. Festival membership, four annual passes to the St. Louis Aquarium, four Ferris wheel tickets, a gift certificate for Gateway Arch Attractions, four annual 2021 passes to the City Museum, and Ballpark Village Restaurant gift certificate. Boy, you don't have to leave St. Louis. You can have a good time <laughs> right there. Absolutely. Mm. At this time, we want to offer a very generous welcome to our Assistance League President, Dawn Thomas. She is our ray of sunshine. Dawn? Good evening. Welcome to Imagine, a gift of love. I am Dawn Thomas, President of Assistance League of St. Louis, and I am so excited to be with you here tonight. Our theme this evening is a gift of love. This is incredibly fitting this year. We are asking you, our loyal supporters, to reach into your hearts and support this amazing all-volunteer organization so we can continue to change lives in the community we live in and love. Imagine waking up and being excited to slip into your new uniform, complete with fresh underwear, new socks, athletic shoes, pants, top, belt, gloves, and a coat, which will allow you to look like everyone else at school. Imagine having books of your very own that you picked out yourself with the help of people who really care about you and your love of reading. Imagine not having to worry about how you are going to replace all of the things you lost in a house fire because everything you needed was delivered to your new home. Imagine finally escaping an abusive situation and upon arriving at the shelter, getting a beautiful gift bag that contained all of the items you need to get started on your path to a more peaceful life. You do not need to imagine those scenarios because thanks to your support, these events are happening every day in our community due to the efforts of Assistance League of St. Louis. We are a dynamic creative group of volunteers who have shown great flexibility this year in order to safely provide services to the people in our community who need help now more than ever. No matter how creative we are, we sincerely need your help to make things happen. Please show St. Louis how much you care about its most vulnerable citizens and donate this evening to Assistance League of St. Louis. We can do the rest. Thank you for your gift of love. Thank you, Dawn. To our guests, go ahead and start bidding 
by way of GiveSmart on our silent and live auction items. There is something for everyone. I am really excited about our live auction. I understand there are lively bidding competitions already happening at this moment. If there is a package that you really want, don't let it slip through your fingers. Keep bidding. Remember this, you will go home with a package you know you wanted and your dollars are going to a wonderful cause. Our friend Andy Bennis speaks to our cause. Hey, this is Andy Bennis and I wanna encourage you to support the Assistance League. These ladies are doing amazing things for kids in our community, giving them clothing, shoes. 100% of your donation is going towards the kids. Zero is going towards the ladies. So they are doing this from their heart. Everybody knows kids who need help. The Assistance League is helping kids. Support them today. Let me tell you about our wonderful cause. Our programs are these. Currently, we fund six programs. They are Operation School Bell, Steps to Success, Rose, Books from Friends, My Own Fun Stuff, and Assistance League Outreach. Operation School Bell serves 6,700 students in 37 public schools where we distributed 102,000 items of clothing consisting of school uniforms, coats, and other personal items. Operation School Bell, since its inception in 1990, has served over 103,000 students. That is impressive. You bet it is. Steps to Success provides public school students with new athletic shoes and socks. 3,700 students in 39 schools from seven school districts receive these shoes. Mm. Assistance League volunteers measure and fit the students at their schools. Assistance League closets are located in St. Louis Public Schools, stocked with additional shoes, socks, coats, underwear, and personal care items to meet the students' ongoing needs. Let's take a look at one of these sessions. Okay. All right, I'm going to give you two more pairs of socks, okay? Yeah. The STEPS program is a program through Assistance League where we visit uh, typically about 38 schools over the entire school year where we'll have you know, six days in the spring, six days in the fall where we'll give anywhere from uh, 20, I guess 3,800 uh, pairs of shoes, close to 11,000 pairs of socks and really it's an opportunity for us to help take care of uh, their basic needs that the educators, principals can um, can have the tools that they need so that the kids aren't distracted in the class and give them the, the best opportunity to be successful. This is the uh, very first year actually we've had the STEPS program uh, where they brought shoes in for our kids that are in need of uh, shoes and it's unbelievably beneficial to our kids because shoes and clothes and things like that are something that um, they worry about um, a lot of times and when they come to school and they've got shoes that they're not proud of they don't even want to come to school so having the opportunity to have these new shoes that the kids are so excited about just makes a really big difference in their lives and in their school life so when they're here at school they feel better about themselves so it's an incredible program that I think is going to just have benefits just across the board. And it's an opportunity for us to really visit them in the community and you know understand where there is a need and how we can help some of these students to uh, to be comfortable let them know that they're they're really important and, uh, an opportunity for for them to just not be distracted as they're trying to learn and you know have a have a good opportunity in, in the world i help out with the steps program because i enjoy the interaction with the kids, just having fun with the kids, not having to grade papers or do anything, as I was a former teacher. Uh, it's great fun, and they get so excited when they get new shoes. Even the socks they love. How great is it? Jump on your toes, jump on your toes. New shoes and their In the middle of the night, 
a woman flees her home, children in tow, to escape the abusive environment she has found her family oh. in. Their escape requires a fast getaway. Mm -hmm. It's an all too familiar story. Assistance League makes a difference in these harrowing moments through Project Rose. Project Rose served 1,771 women and children wow. in domestic violence shelters this past year. This year. Our volunteers purchase, package, and deliver gift bags containing clothing and personal care items to six crisis shelters and agencies to sexual assault survivors, including sex trafficking victims. Our new literacy program is Books from Friends. They provided over 16,400 books wow. to aspiring readers in elementary schools and agencies. Books are also provided to school lending libraries. We want to show you a little bit more about this program. The Assistance League Literacy Committee, or called BFF, which means Books from Friends. Our whole mission is to promote literacy in the St. Louis community by providing books to aspiring readers. This program is so helping us get our students where they need to be with their reading level by providing them with two books as well as sitting down one-on-one -on -one with the volunteers and being able to read with them. So a couple years ago we added a puppet show to our program and so we uh, uh, one of our members wrote a story about the day the books went on strike for the day the books quit and what would happen to a school if they didn't have any books to read. And the kids also get to interact while we're doing it. So it's it's a fun, it's a fun event. It's easy to just give give books or give any other kind of items, but I think what makes us special is we spend time with each individual child and I think that makes a bigger impact. Volunteers in the My Own Fun Stuff program pack and provide activity kits to comfort over 14,000 children in hospital emergency rooms. Our Assistance League Outreach program served over 1,000 people with one-time critical needs. It could have been helping a woman and her children to set up house after leaving an agency or helping a family who lost everything in a fire. Aww and partnering with Urban League of St. Louis to provide sanitation kits to Head Start programs for smaller children. We are committed to delivering these hands-on services with a warm, loving touch. Dr. Art McCoy is with us tonight. Dr. McCoy became the superintendent of Jennings School District in 2016. He is a nationally recognized education consultant and an author. He is an associate adjunct professor at the University of Missouri, St. Louis. We know him as a champion for students and an inspiring education leader. Dr. McCoy calls our volunteers at Assistance League his angels, and we call him a miracle worker. Dr. McCoy. Good evening, and I want to welcome you to this fabulous gala. I'm Dr. Art McCoy, and I'm the superintendent of schools for Jennings School District. I want to take a few minutes to tell you about why the Assistance League is so vital to our community. First, I serve a school district that is a promise zone, which means that it had higher dropout rates, higher unemployment, and higher levels of need from the community. But for the past four years, we have defied those odds and had 100% graduation, 100% college and career placement, and we're the only district in the state that has over 90% minority population, over 90% free reduced lunch, 100% of the kids who get free meals, but over 90% success on the state standards. That's important because none of that would have been possible without this fabulous organization, the Assistance League. I actually look at the AL to stand for angels and leaders who come into our community every day as angels and as leaders. And these fabulous women 
do three important things every time we interact with them. They see us and our children for who we really are. They see the needs, they see the wants, the hopes and the desires, and they see to it that those needs are met, which leads to the next important thing, which is an S. The Assistant League supports us. They support us with uniforms. They support us with materials, tools, and with hugs and love that children need while they're getting these items that many children wouldn't have clothes that's decent enough to go outside with. They receive this support with a smile and a hug, which makes them the angels for some children. And lastly, they help us to know that we are sufficient. We are sufficiently able to overcome any obstacle. That's why we're the only 90-90-90 school with 90% or more success, despite our zip code, despite free reduced lunch, despite any diversity or ethnicity that may be in a lesser state in our society. We are sufficient because of the Assistance League. I have to leave you with one last thought. Some people may say, oh, we just provide clothes and uniforms. Let me tell you what this means to me. I'm holding a coin that represents the police officers and the police force, which they've given me a promise coin because I'm a partner with them to make our community safe. And you see on TV every night how many individuals who shoot one another, black on black crime, or even police officers who ultimately have a killing occur to a black child. But not one black male has ever been shot by another black male or cop in a uniform, <laughs> not one. So when these uniforms that include a collared shirt or a polo shirt and black khakis or gray khakis or even the colors of our school, which are red and white, when they are given and worn by our children, it assures life for them. It assures that they are valued and loved by someone. It ensures that they will graduate like our 100% graduation record shows and they will go to college and have a career and be someone who is valuable to society because they had some angels and some leaders showing love. And that's what you're invested in, the Assistance League. So I thank you for the check that you're gonna write that you didn't even know you were gonna write and make that big because it will go to great use. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. McCoy. What an inspiring message. Our sponsors for tonight's event have stepped up to the plate early on to aid us in getting this show set up. We want to thank our incredible sponsors for their generous support. They did not hesitate to jump in and donate when we told them we could only do a virtual event this year. We have much love in our hearts for them. How is that bidding going? Please use GiveSmart to see the auctions and to be able to bid on items. And please donate to ring the bell. The link for GiveSmart is scrolling across the bottom of your screen. We are very enthused to offer such special live auction packages tonight. Let's take a look at these last packages of the 10 that are being offered. We have Breckenridge, Colorado. Oh, prepare yourself for sweeping views and luxurious accommodations, all at a private home in Breckenridge, Colorado. You will spend six nights in this magnificent abode that sleeps 14 in six bedrooms, all in suite. The home features breathtaking views from each room, and there are numerous fireplaces. This winter or summer getaway is located minutes from the charming town of Breckenridge and some of Colorado's best skiing and hiking and recreation. Now we have six Cardinal Green seats. This includes food and beverages with three parking passes, 
of course, a mutually agreeable date for the 2021 season. This excludes the opening day and postseason games. Say cheese! Treat your group of 10 to a tour of the Marcout Jersey Creamery, an award-winning dairy farm in nearby Greenville, Illinois. Get up close and personal with those adorable Jersey cow herds and see how cheese progresses from the cow to the curd. Have all your cheesy questions answered by the Schnucks cheese expert, Andy Deku, and the team at Marcout Dairy. Learn how to fashion your own sure to please cheese board. Take home some really tasty treats. Chez Paris, oh la la. This is a French dinner prepared by Chef Kelsey Steffens and served by our Assistance League St. Louis Catering Unlimited group of ladies at your residence and on a mutually agreeable date. All the courses are paired with French wines. You are greeted with an appetizer board of French fromage cheeses, French meats, and a baguette, followed by a muse boucher, bite-sized hors d'oeuvres, and you will then sit down to your lovely dinner. The main courses will be chosen by our chef. We save the best for last. You will be served a medley of French pastries, la café, coffee, and a French liqueur. Sea Island, Georgia, enjoys six nights at this exquisite private home on the grounds of the lush Sea Island Resort. The home sleeps 14 with beach access, swimming pool, and a hot tub. Now we come to the Italian al fresco dinner, an Italian three-course meal cooked by three generations. Patio dining for a party of six, hosted by Dr. Charles and Debbie Ring, at their residence on a Saturday, late May through October of 2021, on a mutually agreeable date. The Italian wine is paired with each course. You have an antipasto, a trio of homemade pastas and sauces, Italian desserts, including Italian coffee and Italian Amaro. Please keep bidding on these awesome live auction packages. The silent auction baskets are sure to please. There is quite an assortment, something for everyone. Buy a red wine or a white wine, or maybe both, for $30 each. All bottles are valued at a minimum of $30, but one bottle is worth $100. That means one bottle of red and one bottle of white wine will be worth $100 each. Nice. When you receive your wine purchase, the winner of the expensive $100 bottle will have a message in his package. Assistance League is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We celebrate the power of volunteers to evoke positive change in our St. Louis community. Our programs empower and provide opportunity to the most vulnerable here in St. Louis. All 471 Assistance League members are volunteers. Assistance League has no paid staff. This past year, our volunteer members donated over 65,000 hours to our philanthropic programs. Just think, those volunteer hours are equivalent to 31 full-time paid wow. staff, all volunteer. Assistance League of St. Louis has received a Platinum Transparency Rating from GuideStar, which is the world's largest source of information about nonprofit organizations. Did you know, Mary, that less than 1% of all nonprofits ever earn this Platinum status? Oh my goodness. The thoroughness of our program assessment practices is a major factor in this achievement. So I assure you, your donations are an investment in our mission and they are well placed. Thank you all ever so much for your gift of love. Thank you for joining us tonight. 
Our volunteers and supporters work together to be that beacon of light to children and families in need. Assistance League travels into the St. Louis community to share our story, to share good fortune, to share our love. Yes. We have remarkable members who devote time and effort, heart and soul, asking what more they can do to assist those in need. And you all, our guests, are helping us in our time of need by tuning in tonight Together, we form a team that can assure the most vulnerable will find our beacon of light. Good. You can join us to transform the lives of children and adults through our community programs. This is the power of a generous heart. Even our friend Ozzie Smith encourages us tonight. Hi, I'm Ozzie Smith. I hear the Assistance League of St. Louis is a great organization that does great work for deserving kids. If you're looking for a nonprofit to get involved with, this is a great one. Your dollars tonight have great purchasing power. Did you know that $5,000 buys uniforms for 55 students? $2,500 buys 108 pairs of athletic shoes? $1,000 buys 17 first night rose bags for abused women. $500 buys 62 new books for students. $100 buys 62 activity kits for hospital emergency rooms. Next year, we hope to come together again, maybe in that same room. But for tonight, you can help us from wherever you are by bidding in our silent auction, chaired by Lynn Turley. We appreciate all the work that Lynn and her team have accomplished for our virtual event tonight. Take a look at several of these special offerings. Any bourbon connoisseurs in the audience? These six bottles represent some of the finest American bourbons in the marketplace. Bullet, 1792, Jefferson, Basil Hayden, Knob Creek, mm. and Maker's Mark 46. Mary, you can enjoy it straight up ah, or on the rocks. Love it. This package next incites thoughts of entertaining friends or family, especially right now as we are somewhat confined. It includes wine, pasta with Italian sauces, accompanied by this beautiful La Crusette oval casserole, Italian breakfast cookies with Sicilian blood orange marmalade, mm -hmm. limoncello liqueur mm. with eight crystal liqueur glasses, and a gift certificate to the bakery at Gianfabio's Italian restaurant. Ah. And there are many more. You can see all the baskets offered on the Give Smart link listed again on the bottom of this screen. At this time, I would like to introduce Mr. Jeffrey Roan, Director of the Office of Family and Community Engagement for St. Louis Public Schools. Mr. Roan has been a great asset mm -hmm. in helping us to coordinate our resources and services with the St. Louis Public Schools. Mr. Roan? Good evening. The Assistance League's relationship with St. Louis Public Schools spans over 28 years serving 25 of our elementary schools and each year impacts over 2,000 of our students. The relationship has provided for our students uniforms, coats, athletic shoes, activity kits, hygiene kits, books, and the introduction of Al's Closets which provide ongoing inventory to meet the needs of students on a daily basis or as needs arise. The benefit of our relationship with the Assistance League and St. Louis Public Schools is that students and families are provided needed essentials to encourage student attendance, promote high self-esteem, improve social development, as well as help to support a more positive teaching and learning environment in our classrooms. The importance of Imagine, a gift of love fundraiser, helps to continue the philanthropic programs of the Assistance League. 
last year's 2019-2020 Assistance League's donations valued over $291,000. We thank you for your kindness and generosity. We certainly hope that you will continue to support the Assistance League of St. Louis as they continue their relationship with the students and families of St. Louis Public Schools. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Roan. Well, if you are new to our Imagine Gala this year, you may be wondering, what is Ring That Bell? Our Operation School Bell program fits and dresses nearly 6,700 students with school uniforms, coats and gloves, underwear, and personal care kits. It costs about $100 per child. There are preset amounts of monetary donations ranging from $10,000 to $100 that our guests may select to donate to Operation School Bell and receive a full tax deduction. So ring that bell and let us know that you will help us purchase items for Operation School Bell. Ask your employer if they match donations, as many do. You can also purchase restaurant cards tonight. These cards have been donated by Assistance League members and actual restaurants themselves. They have extended their expiration dates to accommodate the uncertainty of this pandemic. I believe that we have some of our public school representatives and liaisons in our audience tonight. So this is a shout out to Yay. them. We love you. The Assistance League liaisons coordinate the services and delivery of goods to the students with these representatives from the 37 St. Louis Public Schools. We appreciate their help tremendously. You know, when we work with so many children, we hear many different comments. They show their emotion and gratitude in so many ways. There are tears, there is laughter, big smiles, and a lot of hugs. You know, Maureen, there was a second grade boy who was so thrilled to get a fleece pullover, he exclaimed, I have been waiting since kindergarten for one of these. Then there was this one little guy who was so thrilled to be fitted for a new uniform and all the clothing, he broke out singing and then he actually danced out of the dressing room to show off his new clothes. Their excitement brings such great joy to us as volunteers. That it does, Mary. It yes, it does. does. Our favorite Assistance League auctioneer, MC, dear friend and supporter, Rennie Knott, is here with us tonight. His talent touches our community in front of the camera and behind the scenes. Let me introduce from KSDK, co-anchor of today in St. Louis with five on your side, Mr. Rennie Knott. Hey everybody, how you guys doing tonight? I hope very, very well. I hope you remember me. It's been a while. Rennie Knott, five on your side. You know, I do today in St. Louis in the morning. Well, I'm here tonight to ring the bell because tonight is about sounding off. Sounding off financially because we need your help. We need your assistance. You see, without you, there is no assistance league because we need you to help us help other people. So I hope you're with us tonight. I hope you're ready to give, 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 and dig, dig, dig because the pandemic has hit everybody hard, but it has especially hit our charities the hardest because everybody's trying to hang on to every single dollar they've got because they don't know the future. But try to understand those who right now don't know that they even have a chance at a future, who don't know that there's people out there concerned and worried about their welfare. Well, tonight is the night for you to let your voice be heard. So let's start ringing some bells, folks. And I'll tell you something, if you don't start giving, I'll keep on a ringing. And that could be a little annoying sometimes, right? So let's start off at $10,000. $10,000. Can I hear from my $10,000 people out there? Come on now. The $10,000 donations, we need it. We need it because we want the big money. Yeah, I'm saying the big money because we want to make a big difference tonight. We don't have that long of a night tonight, but we can finish off in such fine fashion. I know the phones are ringing. 
They're ringing, aren't they? I think they're ringing. It's either that or it's just the bell ringing in my head, you know, because this thing is kind of close to my ears right now. All right, $10,000, folks. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You've made a world of difference tonight. We have more numbers, though. Let's go to $7,500. $7,500. Let's ring the bell for $7,500. How many can we get at $7,500 tonight? Now, you know everybody's waiting by that telephone. They want to pick it up. They want to listen to you. They want to take that number down. They want to see you contribute. They want to see you make a difference tonight. They want to see you have that impact right here in St. Louis and throughout the entire St. Louis area. All right, $10,000, $7,500. Love you guys. Love you much. But you know what? There's a lot of folks out there going, you know what? That, that, that's a little much for me. That's okay, folks. I've got other numbers. I've got other numbers. I got something that's going to fit into everybody's pocketbook, everybody's budget, everybody's bank account tonight. Let's hear for $5,000. Who's out there? Uh-oh, I broke my bell. Anybody out there ready to give $5,000 tonight? Ding, 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 ding. Looking for that $5,000. Come on. I know the phones are ringing. We've got the phones ringing. Thank you. Thank you for your $5,000. Yes. Yes, thank you for your 5,000. Ding, 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 ding. You know, I was told a long time ago, sometimes you got to improvise. Ding, 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 ding. Anybody else at 5,000? Come on, I know we got a couple more. Yes, yes, thank you for your $5,000. Anybody else at 5,000? Anyone else at 5,000? That's all right. Let's hear it for the 10,000, 7,500, and the $5,000, folks, 2,500. $2,500 now. Who out there wants to ring my bell at $2,500? Ding, 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 ding. Let's keep this thing going, folks. I need to feel the energy. I need to feel the energy. We're not there tonight. The world is different now with COVID-19. We can't be face-to-face. Got to wear a mask, all that stuff. Wash your hands, wash your hands. You should have been doing that anyway, though, right? Can I hear that? But if you give the $2,500 tonight, I will forgive you for not washing your hands for 20 seconds. Maybe it was for 15 seconds. I'll take the five seconds off just this one time around. Anybody else? $2,500. Anybody? Anybody? Come on now. Let's hear those phones. Are they ringing? Are they ringing? I can hear them now because my bell's not ringing anymore. Come on now. Let's make sure those, those phone lines are lit up. Make sure you guys are given. We can make that difference tonight. We can do it. So we heard from $10,000, $7,500, $5,000, $2,500, $1,000. Come on now. $1,000. I know you got it in you. $1,000. So, so you don't get a latte for the next, I don't know, year and a half. That's okay. So you, you, you don't get some of your other things that you want to do because they're pleasurable. But think about this. There are folks out there who need our assistance, who need our help, to need us to provide for them that hope that there can indeed be a better tomorrow. So $1,000 tonight. Come on, let's hear those $1,000. Ding, 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 ding. You know what? I got a second career as a bell. So, you know, maybe the fire department want to hire me. All right. I love my $1,000, folks. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 $500 now. $500. Anyone tonight able to go $500 tonight? Let's light this thing up. Let's make a difference, everybody. Let's make a difference. It's all up to you. I remember my mom told me a long time ago when I went off to college that if it was meant to be, it is indeed up to me. So if you're meant to make a difference tonight, tonight is the night to do it. $500 right now. Anyone tonight at $500? Yes, $500 over there. Come on, anybody else at $500? Raise your hands. Believe it or not, I can see through the TV. Yes, $500. Keep those phone lines ringing. Yo, oh, man, what a night tonight. What a night tonight. You guys are getting it done. This is assistance at its finest. I got one more number for you. One more number. $100. $100. Hopefully, the phone lines are going nuts right now at $100. Let's get as many $100 as we can. Look at my, my bell. You can still kind of hear it a little bit, but I can still ding, 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 ding. You know why? I drink a lot of coffee, so that, that sort of helps me out sometimes, too. I wake up at 1230 in the morning, so at this time of night, you know I got to be pumped up on something. Looking for $100. Anybody else tonight at $100? $100. Can I get $100? Yes. Yes. Oh my goodness. Yes. $100. The phones are going nuts. You guys are fantastic. Man, in the middle of a pandemic, in the middle of a pandemic when everybody's fearful, everybody's worried about themselves, their own, their family, their accounts, their jobs, you guys understand that it isn't just about us. It's about all 
of us. Because together, we're better, and together, we can get through this. I want to thank you guys so much for having me back tonight, for allowing me to ring the bell. And whoever owns this bell, um, I had nothing to do with the breaking. I, I think those things just kind of happen. You know, I'm, maybe I'm a little stronger than I thought I was. Had some of that Popeye's chicken earlier today. That might be what it is. I don't know. But thank you so much. You're making a great difference, a difference that's going to be felt not just throughout our area, not just today, not just tomorrow, but an impact that's going to be felt for the future because people are going to understand that others out there care for them and they're going to care for somebody else and so forth and so on. Thank you so much for helping make this a better place. Have a great night. Hopefully next year we all get to do this in person. <laughs> bye bye COVID-19. Thank you, Rennie. Thank you. In 2019, Assistance League of St. Louis elected members of our very first advisory council. These very talented business and community leaders are representatives of the thousands of St. Louisans we serve. They offer needed advice and support our Assistance League board of directors. Currently, these six individuals are involved in a range of areas from program development to fundraising, finances, and governance. These six members constitute our advisory council. Ms. Ann Bauer is an attorney at the Center for Family Law. She is a member of the Domestic Violence Council of St. Louis County. Mr. John Berline was a general partner now retired from Edward Jones. He currently serves as the national chair of the Gephardt Institute for Community and Civic Engagement. Mr. Stacy Clay is senior vice president and director of community affairs at First Bank. He served as deputy director of student support services in the St. Louis Public Schools for five years. Ms. Frankie Eichenberger is an executive business leader and current Gallup certified strengths coach. She is a retired vice president of U.S. Bank. Ms. Claire Vaderat hundelt is executive director of Marlock Mission Fund. She holds a master's degree in social work from Washington University here in St. Louis. Ms. Judy Murphy is a CPA and partner of Reuben Brown LLP. She is extensively involved in the St. Louis community, primarily serving nonprofit clients by providing audit, tax, and consulting services. These six individuals act as ambassadors and spokesmen for Assistance League. Their contributions of expertise and ideas are invaluable. We thank our advisory council for your contributions and your support. We are so fortunate for the support we see in our St. Louis community. Let's hear from Sandy Miller from KTVI. Hi, I'm Sandy Miller with Fox 2 here in St. Louis. I want to give a shout out to the Assistance League of St. Louis. They're touching lives of thousands of children and adults in the St. Louis area with their all-volunteer service organization. The Assistance League of St. Louis is 100% staffed and run by volunteers. This lets them concentrate their funds and their efforts on the programs that matter most to the community. To volunteer online, go to members at stlouisassistanceleague.org or call their headquarters at 636-227-6200. To donate online, go to their website at alstl.org and click on Help Support Assistance League. Donate here. Thanks for all you do, Assistance League. We encourage you to take one more look at GiveSmart for the auctions and ring the bell, as they will be closing at 8 o'clock p.m. tonight. Our goal this evening is to raise money to help fund our Assistance League programs this next year in the St. Louis community. We will continue to work for many deserving children, adults, and their families. And as we do that, we know you are right there with us. You showed up tonight. Your gifts of love benefit so many little children receiving just basic needs to support their life. Your gifts of love will benefit women and their children in domestic violence shelters. 
young women rescued from sex trafficking, and many in the hospital emergency rooms. Mary, we have heard some pretty oh, special know, stories yes. from our members as they work with the students. Let me just tell you, one day okay. there was a little boy who approached a volunteer to be fitted for his new shoes. Uh -huh. He was tiny, he was bright-eyed, beautiful little hair, and he wore shoes with no ties. Oh on the wrong feet, and oh. they barely even fit him because they were way too small. Uh -huh. He was fit with a pair of shoes with Velcro straps that fit him very well. But he looked at the volunteer and he says, I can't take these shoes. I don't have any money to pay for them. Well, that volunteer gave him one big hug, and she told him that the shoes were a gift from Assistance League and that he could take them home. He just beamed. You know, stories like that, they just melt my heart. You know, Maureen, I have to tell you, at one of our book festivals, there was a little girl who was so excited to know that the books that she was receiving were her very own. She asked if she could write her name in them. She was in the third grade and had never had a book of her very own. Goodness. When Operation School Bell is fitting the students for uniforms, mm -hmm. the children, you know, they receive books, socks, yeah. accessories, and teeth cleaning supplies. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Well, one little girl, upon receiving her new toothbrush and her uh -huh. toothpaste, uh -huh. she appeared very surprised, but in a good way, with a big smile. And she says, well, this is really nice. She says, usually I just have to use my mom's breath mints. Oh. These stories remind us that it is worth every effort we make to address the needs of the vulnerable in our midst. With this current pandemic blanketing our area, there is an even greater need due to the stress of families losing their jobs. They simply struggle with the expense of clothing, shoes, and everyday basic needs. These times are creating extra stress for many, which unfortunately can increase the number of family members entering shelters as a result of domestic violence here in our St. Louis community. The outcomes of our programs to over 34,000 citizens mm -hmm. are very, very positive, and we are very proud of our work. All of you, our guests, are investing in very deserving children and families tonight. You are helping Assistance League of St. Louis. Your gifts allow us to continue our mission of transforming lives all year long. Our vision is seeing essential needs being met in our community, as well as to provide opportunities for families to flourish. From the bottom of our hearts, we are so very grateful to each of you out there watching tonight for your gift of love. Remember, every great dream begins with a dreamer. Mm -hmm. We have within us the strength, the patience, and the passion to reach yes. the stars, to change the world. You said it. We want to thank again our generous sponsors for their support tonight. You make a big difference. We want to emphasize it is our donors and supporters who enable us to achieve what we have achieved. Yes. We are sorry we were unable to party with you tonight, like we usually do. Perhaps next year we can resume the festivities in full regalia. We do hope you will plan to join us next year. Until then, we wish you good health and a good night. Just imagine what a gift of love can do.